Yo, what's good, gang? I hope you are doing well. So, uh, Stefan was saying that why I'm doing this. And I hope a lot of, lot of you might be thinking that am I teaching the thing that I'm not even doing? All right. I will answer everything in this video. So now what I'm doing uh, right now. Let me just, uh, yeah. So what I am doing right now, I'm, I'm doing nothing different that I explained in the class all right but now what i'm doing i'm just simply combining the things with their supply and demand things all right now why i am doing that first of all i was having a lot of losses uh, not a lot of it, it is very common man if you if you're really trying to achieve a uh, good risk to reward like 5 10 hour of course man your win rate will get affected you can't expect 5R and you can't expect like your win rate would be 70 to 80 percent with that all right you can't expect that thing so now same thing happened with me i literally have um, shared my journal with you on the telegram you can see i was having like four to five losses in a row with that i completely some like i have also lost lost it some challenges with that with that thing why because if you have four to five losses in a row it can fuck up your psychology it really happened the same with me all right now i, I ask myself how i can make this thing better simply i uh back tested it and i found out by just combining both the things and targeting reasonable don't uh, not aiming for huge targets just keeping the psychology good and trying to make money every day all right if you saw blues in your meta trader your confidence will be high you will be executing every position with the plan and your confidence will be high if you see reds a lot of reds in the uh, statement then you will be like man i don't know if this setup is going to work out or not man this setup gave me a loss now if you enter that man this setup gave me a profit last time it was a loss now if if the next time that same setup appears this can be a loss if if the next setup you can be like oh man this setup gave me a loss i, I won't be taking it that can be a profit why because uh, this this uh, one minute entries with this of course there would be a lot of stop losses all right and to make the thing uh, like break even i would say uh not break even man what i'm saying to make the things even there should be balance between the strategy between the win rate and the risk to reward all right there should be balance there should be kind of balance all right so now if you want this thing so win rate would be high and uh yeah and simply you can just uh target less all right now one thing more you can't really say someone oh man your your style is really not good because it is not giving you huge target it is not the way because i have tested it i have i have tested many strategies guys even i i i do sometimes uh, make my buys following different strategy all right and it is very as i explained to you in i think uh, the verification video i have learned from falcon i have learned from uh, wiston lie i have run learned from um, from uh, sean lee and many other guys rock fx so i have a lot of concepts in my mind all right and i can use them in my advantage I'm not saying to use them and combine just making the things that is working uh, for you. All right. Now, let me explain to you what I am doing. So I think I took uh, US 30 shots. Yeah. So now what I am doing simply, I taught you guys if price approach the area, then we will wait for one minute chalk and we will take entries based on that. You also you also might have faced with this to make even everything even your losses would be a little bit higher than the one who are catching a little bit low a little bit less risk to rewards 
and uh, why because uh, it is what it is man if, if if your stop is a little bit open and you are letting the price to fluctuate all right of course price will be getting in the drawdown and yeah then eventually it can hit the tp all right but this you are so precise you want you want sniper entry and yeah to get there you have to deal with the losses also all right and yeah i think max you can go 50 percent win rate with this but if you can achieve that that would be perfect bro that would be amazing uh yeah 50 to 40 years max if you're trying to um, if you're trying to do the smc in my opinion a lot of a lot of guys uh, you see the guys on the instagram um they don't really post the losses they just post the wins because that's why they attract people bro but uh, you re literally saw me testing both of the things all right I, i've posted the journal with you losses everything i have shared the low risk reward models results on openly on my instagram all right you are the judge here all right i'm not saying like you should do this or that now let's come to the point what i am doing right now i taught you the one minute entries i, I literally i followed that but as i explained to you i was having a lot of losses that's why um i try to i try to refine the things now if the price get to the poi i simply look for the confirmations that is based on the price action i look for patterns i look for retesters uh, retests tests yeah man what the fuck anyways retests and um, i look emas and trend lines i mean things that normal price action trader do is this thing bad if this thing is if you can add this thing in your confluence this thing is not bad let me explain to you how you can do that for that i think i have to um Oh, I'm sorry guys, I was like, there was somebody on the door, so yeah. So I was on the point, uh, I was on the point, yeah, I was I was gonna discuss the trade with you guys uh, that I took. Uh, let's just talk about US 30 shots that I took, then we'll just simply go in uh, forward. I think I took it here, yeah. So now, price was printing lower lows, alright, this was the valid POI this area all right ema is to the downside uh, price is approaching the market uh sorry the poi in very corrective manner all right so now if you go to the five minute i don't even go to the five minute or lower time frame because i know man it would be a chalk this chalk all right as you can see now what is the area this area i simply saw some kind of pattern happening around as you can see there was some, some kind of uh, bearishness come in so I entered the trade somewhere around here. Keeping my stop, I think 100 points. Yeah, my stop was 100 points. And I was expecting this to break. All right, because my, the, I, I will be discussing about the confluences also, but, but just try to understand what I was uh, keeping in mind. All right. So what could be the target? Maybe this unmitigated area. Of course, this target is less, but I'm giving the space to price to fluctuate even if it goes to the upside and then of course our biases uh, the confluences that we have we have a lot of confluences that uh with that price should go to the downside that's why you can you can take messy entries no problem at all as you can see price literally uh, got to the downside then you must be saying oh man we could have entered the trade here but ask yourself man with this entry maybe you can get three stop losses and then you will get some kind of one to five or one two six seven eight or something like that all right anyways now you got my point now let's just count the confluences that i was having for that let me open the journal mm, journal where is that man this dog is fucking this at this exact time i don't know why this fucking dog get activated is somebody fucking um, feed him something i don't know man with this we was having four con no it was not we was having six confluences brother six confluences six confluences with normal smc that a lot of people of course i myself follow that man anyways a lot of people do you only have what you only have two confirmations price tapping the py one minute chalk two confirmations 
Now, here I was having two confirmations, of course, the SMC confirmation. Apart from that, I was having four confirmations more. What was that? Retest of this level. All right. Lower lows. SMC wise, this was supply. EMAs. You can also draw it as a fib. Sort of fib. All right. Fibonacci. And I think yeah pretty much it but I, I counted like five confluences of course the pattern yeah pattern this pattern and also the double top you can count it as confluence also double top all right now what tell me how many confluences you have you have like seven or eight confluences don't you don't you feel like confidence confident while taking this kind of setup where you have like uh, six to seven confluences if you if you are saying no man i don't know then uh i don't know man i have tested this but if i have more than four confluences i'm pretty very confident if that trade didn't play it out in my favor of course the probability was not there but if i have five to six confluences in my trade i'm very confident i'm happy to take the risk even if my risk parameters is like one percent if i'm confident this many confluences i have I am happy to take 2% risk, 1.5% risk. I'm, I'm keeping my stop a little bit higher. No problem because I'm letting, I'm giving the price room to fluctuate. All right. And yes, I'm following the same concept that I teach you. But apart from that, I'm just adding the price action confluences here. Let's just discuss about the gold trade that I took. I took shots. Mm, yeah, I think I did took shots. shots. Uh, I think I took shots somewhere on here, yeah. I took shots somewhere here, yeah. Uh, I'm explaining the trades that I um, took, that I also have posted on the, on the uh, YouTube. So now, clearly you can see there was price failing to close above. It means, maybe, price needs to tap this area, all right? imbalance at least 50 percent of the imbalance or maybe the 60. now ask yourself now you know price can fill the imbalance first confirmation all right let's just go to the four hour like this how price has closed bearish don't you think with the next candle continuing bearish you can make it as your target all right you can add this also as a confluence that price has printed bear bearish or no man you you if it's on you like if you want to um, count it as confluence or not if you take this sort of level all right let's just go to the 15 again price is retesting this level can can you add it as a confluence yes you can now how many confluence we have imbalance and and one level and other other than that the pattern the triangle pattern which you are expecting that price will break to the downside and price will tap that auto block or maybe the uh the the, 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 the what the fuck man the the imbalance yeah so now price clearly has um price has what yeah price uh price clearly printing some kind of pattern as you can see all right now what you need to do you just need to follow the structure here so i think i place the trade somewhere around here my bad expecting that price will break but you could you could have been conservative you can place your trade here expecting this was a supply and you are expecting this pattern L let's just take this man you can uh, you can just place your trade somewhere around here I think it, mm, yeah, it, it. you can place your trade maybe at this sort of imbalance and things like that. This small candle would be the other uh, auto block. You can place your trade something like that, expecting that imbalance to get follow, uh, fill. And what was your confluence? Simply, now pattern one. Second, uh, there, was, um, there was there was there was imbalance. Third, there was level. Fourth, the four edge. I think daily was also bearish in this case so you can add that that also five confluences and uh you can take this as smc also like price broke that price is printing lower lows and you were expecting it to break look how price broke this small level 
price never go above following the supply chain price again give us a chalk small chalk price again follow that all right this was a little bit um, like uh, aggressive entry but let me explain uh, I think I took GJ trade uh, DJ trade I missed that to be honest so anyways I took GU sales yeah so now uh, I took GU sales somewhere around here let me do this yeah I took GU sales somewhere around here so now what price did price broke the structure this was small uh, this was the auto block all right this was the auto block price already tapped that but i was not there when price tapped that what do we have other from other than that we have this level as a retest we can count this as a retest what would be a target maybe this level because on the higher time frame this would have been an auto block or maybe you can target this of course on the video i did told that price might can tap these areas because this was unmitigated areas all right if, if you watch that carefully price is um just printing lower lows this trend line as a confluence and i think it it will oh i think i took a trade somewhere yeah i took a trade here so now price did broke to the downside and now I don't even need to take a look on the five minute because it, it would have been a something uh, or the one minute it would definitely have been a chalk but here on the five minute never did but on the one minute it would have been so now you can classify this as um, the supply price tab the supply and again on the one minute this was a chalk and then this would have been some kind of order somewhere around here you can place the entry at, as I did I took aggressive entry expecting that price will go to the downside which price did i think it is gj but g was some kind of same thing bro yeah g was the same oh uh, yeah man I, anyways so le let me go to the gu because i didn't took the entry here let me go to the gu bro i think i took the entry yeah so now we have same confluences we have this sort of level on the four hour i think on the four hour yeah we have this level price printed this this candle all right and what is unmitigated this area what is this supply tab and now we are expecting this high to get taken out all right there was also the equal high, equal lows but now if you observe here price is simply printing lower lows and uh, lower highs all right price literally took this by a wick it means uh, this uh, low can be that it can't be uh, this high is a little bit stronger because it did um, broke down the low now price supply respected i i drew the trend line as a confluence now i will i will make you count the confluences now on the five minute or the only one minute definitely would have been a chalk all right as you can see uh, if on the five minute it is not but on the one minute it would have been all right trend line confirmation this supply take the entry my stop was a little bit bigger but it, it is not really necessary to put the stop equal lows we are expecting it to go all right or on the other hand you can also say this is a pattern and we are expecting it to break all right so i took the entry and straight profit bro i booked a little bit early so no problem so now let's just count the confluences is the price it as supply yes how i can say that lower lows and lower highs lower low lower high supply five minute supply supply area mid range supply now how many conflicts we have lower low market structure is really lower low let's add it to the conf confirmation one second the mid range supply third the pattern sort of structure or you can say the trend line fourth ema five retest of four hour level six the candle confirmation on the four hour and seven there was kind of double top aka price tapping the supply how the double top is like double top is like that in our case it is simply tapping the supply but why i'm saying double top because i really want to make you guys clear that these concepts and we the, the concepts that we follow is same it's literally same don't you see man it is same look here chalk tapping the supply maybe for the others it will be double top but 
why I say double top because it is double top and in some um, in some people eyes and to us or to me it is simply chalk and tapping the supply all right it is same guys you need to understand this all right if you guys want to implement this thing we can do uh, maybe session and yeah that's all I think I made myself clear uh, you can with this you can keep stops a little bit wider because you know that this thing will pay out because you have a lot of confidences that is in your favor now ask yourself let, let me show you something so this was some kind of demand all right you took this entry base only one minute and you got stopped out how many confluences you have here you have nothing where was yeah this was how many confluences you have you have nothing why because literally price is above the ema i know that but other than that there is this level which is already broken all right and uh, there's some kind of i would say double top sort of thing or you can classify this as liquidity i mean let's just make it clear you don't have many confirmations that we we have we was having on this on this trade all right and even if you go to the four hour uh, price would have printed yeah as you can see price where was it to be honest let me see it yeah price printed very aggressive candle as you can see aggressive candle do you think that it will go to the upside of course i do study candles a uh, little bit of uh, candlestick nature like like that if this candle is pretty bearish of course we can get a little bit of pullback and then again to the downside this candle is pretty aggressive we can get a little bit of pullback and then again to the downside and that's all man i hope you got my point and on the other hand let's just take another example maybe here there was supply price below the ema first confirmation let's just say uh, all right price below the ema first confirmation there was some kind of pattern going on as you can see pattern going on which we are expecting that price will break to the downside some kind of pattern going on all right which we are expecting to the downside now if we get this double top we can take the trade oh it we didn't got that but uh, on the one hour uh, I think we could have taken this entry with this bearish engulfing as a confirmation and yeah man we, we let's count the confirmations yeah I forgot about that now EMA one confirmation second confirmation the retest of this small structure and there would be would have been uh, some kind of good level as you can see um, I, I don't uh, let's go to the daily for that bro yeah as you can see this this line there was another structure level and uh, candle printed very uh, weak another confirmation all right now how many confirmations we have we have for our retest daily level two third week candle four EMA fifth supply uh, supply was what man six and you can count a chalk or the lower time frame as seven we were having seven confirmations here don't you think this would have been a good setup of course it would have been you you can take aggressive entry also here uh, let's go to the this candle because i would have been uh, up here let's go to the 15 to see what the price was doing literally price was price was not printing the way we wanted i think we could have i could have taken the trade here to be honest because four hour bearish as you saw now what ema to the downside level to the downside respecting this level created a chalk double top aka tapping the supply according to the chalk if you don't believe me let's go to the three minute what it is last demand price took out this tapping the supply took out the liquidity i mean it's it is you know you know it all right you know it i don't want to make it complicated but but you know it to to keep it easy i'm saying double top i know you hate it but i'm gonna keep on saying it because it's the same thing that we follow all right uh let's go to the 15 to enter 15 entry would have been somewhere around here maybe yeah 
stop loss let's keep it let's keep it like 10 pip yeah and target this area which is unmitigated one to two good for me man i like to take one to twos amazing target yeah what was tough now how many confirmations we, was we having count it again count it again bro it was seven all right you can classify this as supply also price tapping the supply and yeah boom rejecting you can expect this trend line to go or you can expect this as liquidity whatever you want to call it all right whatever you want to call it you can just call it bro so yeah pretty much it and uh, apart from that if you want to target this area that was also good what confirmations do you have first confirmation second confirmation this auto block this was also valid but to be honest let's just keep it here to be honest yeah 2.1 so yeah guys pretty much that's it and if, if you if you uh, see here how many confirmations was we having sort of level one confirmation second confirmation tapping the supply third confirmation EMA fourth confirmation you can classify this as Fibonacci or something like that and fifth confirmation I think you can classify that as four hour uh, candle four hour maybe the daily candle yeah daily pretty bearish so next candle you can just expect it to be uh, to be bearish as well to maybe fill this auto block you can classify this as a uh, sixth uh, confirmation and this level will also kind of unmitigated to the area which you want all right i'm not gonna say this as seventh confirmation but pretty much we have six confirmations to take the trade but how you are taking the trade by simply based on the supply and demand areas of course you can get better entries with this better stops i like to keep my stops a little bit wider because i don't really care if the pr i want i give my room uh, i'll give room and i let the price to fluctuate all right maybe you don't want it you want precise entries you can uh, you can use these kind of concepts or you can just stick with that man if you, if if you're fine if your psychology lets you play huge risk to rewards and your mind is strong your mind is like i don't give a shit man if i have five losses in a row i can make it back if your mind is like that and strong you can uh, do the thing that you are doing but if you want uh you have to understand your personality all right maybe you are not me and i'm not you all right now let, let me let me tell you the story of mine what i was doing I took a loss on the one to five risk to reward. Okay, I'm good. I took another loss uh, other day. Okay, I'm good. Still, I'm good, man. I don't. With two, three losses, I'm good. I took four losses in a row. My whole day, when I took that fourth loss, would be worse. Because it's my psychology. It, it is not allowing me to accept the thing. All right? If your mindset is allowing. Allow, um, man, what the fuck? allowing you to allowing yeah maybe i'm saying right guys anyways allowing you to um accept this thing then yes continue to do it if not then uh make a little bit of changes according to your lifestyle according to your mindset as i did all right i hope i made myself clear here and yeah if you see here there was supply all right supply and let's go to the four hour for this one four hour of course we have kind of break and retest type of thing sort of if you took a trade here good i think it it blew it just took a liquidity and boom uh to the downside but as you know i really caught my shots here uh, with that double top side of type of thing let's just make it here I don't know why it is not really working like this my uh, internet is working really fine uh, where it is yeah there it is 
uh, as you know I caught my shot here here considering this as double top and expecting this pattern to be broken you can just make it I mean whatever you want to uh, want to do it bro um, just the reason for this is I just I just feel more confident while taking the trade when I when I see a lot of confluences along with the style that we follow right and yeah with this I can keep my stops a little bit wider no problem at all giving the room for the price to fluctuate and yeah now here uh, I want to see the target this liquidity was literally not um, expected to be honest but anyways it did took out and uh, we literally secured the target anyways so I showed you a lot of examples so now this was kind of at head and shoulders but there was a chalk also there was supply also you can take a very aggressive trade here and you can get huge risk to reward bro how you can get that because you have more confirmations here all right i want you to get this thing there is nothing good or bad man the, if, if the thing works for you it'll work for you man all right so i think there was the head and shoulder sort of thing let me go to the yeah there was small head and shoulder look imbalance you can expect the price to fill that huge risk to reward or maybe some kind of level level a lot of levels are really unmigated anyways you saw a chalk on the one hour as you can see price broke this all right and boom tapping the supply head and shoulder confirmation double top confirmation and of course you will be having daily as bearish also let's see there look daily pin bar you can expect that momentum is shifting moment not shifting momentum is not strong that for the price to go to the upside all right you could have said the same here all right but that is not the case because price literally has momentum here all right price have the strength to go to the upside but here price is also price is already at the resistance area or the the supply you can call it all right and yeah so now uh, the moral of the story is what I do I, I observe candles all right the momentum of the candle I observe supply demand areas I observe liquidity areas I plan in advance that this pattern is going to break this low is going to take it out how I can do that by just understanding the supply and demand concepts all right and uh, other than that I like to take a lot of confluences it give me confidence it give me better uh, win rate with normal risk to reward my day is better man ask yourself if you got a win even if even if that win is like uh, two percent one percent three percent ask yourself is your day going to be better of course if you take a loss is your day going to be better maybe maybe if you if you're that kind of trader for me maybe the first three four five hours when i took the loss after 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 i took a loss will be bad or maybe a whole day some 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 kind of day uh yeah but with the smc if i took three four losses in a row my whole day is gonna be bad all right and my other day is going to be bad as well because I, i'll be like oh man i should take it or not oh man if, if this if this will be a loss um, then I'll be down a little bit more these thoughts are gonna be getting into your mind but by taking more confluences you will be like all right this trade has more confluences let's take it bro you will be fearless bro to be honest if you have a lot of confluences and same is with me when I have a lot of confluences I am fearless I I take I take the trade in funding account even if I lost like three percent I'm fearless if I if I want to take the trade there is no there is nobody stopping me my mind is not stopping me all right so what do I mean by this is uh, 
suppose you have five losses with if you're talking five R, then you will be like, all right, man, this setup looks looks the same. The and I took a loss, that might be a win. But suppose with the confluences, I have three confluences. I took a loss. I have four confluences. I took a loss. Maybe the other day I would be having six confluences. I'll be like, all right, man, that trade was having three, four confluences. Maybe that's why I lost it. Not, not that's why. Maybe, um, uh, maybe there was not the probability. All right. Now this setup has six confluences, man. I should take it. You will be fearless, bro. You will be fearless, and you will be entering the trade. Anyways, man, I don't, I don't know if you, if you guys is gonna, gonna troll me for this, uh, or anyways. But it is what it is, man. It is working for me. I just combined both the things, and you can also do that if you if if you want my help, then definitely you can DM me or whatever. But uh, yeah, at the end, man, you have to discover your way, all right. Even with the SMC, a lot of people, even I told you to enter on the one minute. Uh, you will be like, man, one minute is giving me a lot of losses. Should I should I shift to three minute? Or three minute is giving me a lot of losses. Should I stick with the one minute? or three minute and one minute is giving me a lot of losses should I, should I stick, stick with the five minute it is nothing bro the thing that you will do you will do it even if i say it, uh follow one minute if you are having a lot of losses in the one minute you will be like fuck that man i'm gonna be following five minute because i have a lot of wins in the five minute still you are you are doing it in your way all right so yeah if you want my help, then definitely uh, you can just let me know, bro. That's all. I'm going to end this video right here. I think I pretty much took a lot of time here. And yeah, that's all, guys. I hope you got the point that I was uh, explaining in this video. There is no bad thing uh, or good thing. Anyways, I use this thing in my favor. All right. I expect that pattern or... To break i plan that thing in advance advance yeah man i plan that thing in advance and uh yeah if i have a lot of confluences i do take a trade that's all man i'm fearless bro i'm fearless when i have a lot of confluences you just have to read yourself read your personality what your mind wants and uh yeah you gotta go with that I never said that you need to follow that thing. I never said that you have to follow one minute only if you want one to hundred, one to two, one to five, man. I never said that. Because I expect you to make mistakes and find it out. One minute is not working, five minutes is working good. All right. If price approach there in this way, then maybe this can work it out. All right. If, if I can... Um, if you can uh, combine a little bit of uh, price action things in your supply and demand trading all right i'm getting better results man why not to do that all right the, the thing that you have to ask yourself is how you can make your trading better where you are making mistakes and where you are, you are profitable all right yeah and and one thing more one last thing that i want to explain to you guys with the one minute thing maybe some setups will look perfect to you and that will result in loss you will be like that was so perfect as i explained initially to make it even either you will be having less win rate and your risk to reward can be high you will be having more win rate your risk to reward can be decent i would not say low decent all right to make the thing even it is necessary you can expect you can't expect 70 80 percent win rate with five to ten r as a target you can't expect that that is unreal if that is the case the best traders they will be billionaires bro millionaires in a couple of years in two three years they will be millionaires but they are not because to make it even it is necessary this is rule bro not a lot of people stick with the trading not a lot of people uh, achieve there it is a rule to make it even this is a rule of the world not a lot of people not everyone do this N um, if you you ask yourself man it, it is a rule if suppose you give if if god gives car to everyone in this world luxury car 
then don't you think there would be imbalance in in the world to make the world balance there are some kind of rules that the world has made god has made whatever you want to call it oh i would say god has made it bro god has made some kind of rules to make this uh world as a balanced world all right now the strategy is same to make that strategy balanced there would be um, win rate and risk rewards all right maybe some month you can get 80 percent in 5r 80 percent unreal to me still but let's say 60 percent still next month maybe you will get 20 percent 30 percent all right you have to ask yourself how your brain will react if you get certain thing my brain was reacting in a way that I don't want it to react all right and I have to manage that thing simply I put it this thing and yeah maybe your mind can handle those four to five losses in a row and you still will be chilling man all right man I don't give a shit I know my all right guys so audio got disconnected so I thought I should uh, give you the last words so yeah guys this is pretty much that I'm doing and yeah thanks for watching make sure to like this uh, video and subscribe to the channel yeah good for now